Hello YouTube, your boy Bobby Sun here. And in this video we'll be doing a short how to how to use um no machine. I won't won't be installing it because I've already installed um on the computer here. So it's a short how to just start using no machine in this video. So when you first start up no machine you'll be greeted with this um welcome screen here with some additional information on how to find computers and toolbar how to create new connections and such but where you really want to put your attention um, is right here where you see all of these IP addresses now I'm seeing a few IP addresses here I don't know if it's possible because I have um, some network virtual network thing opened on this computer probably why it's giving me these class C addresses but my actual address is here so this IP address is the IP address of this computer, not the one you're connected to. You want you want to connect to what? The one that this is your own computer IP address that you can use to connect to if you want. So um, we're gonna continue. You can choose not to show this message again. So let's continue. And what no machine is gonna do now is search on my network on my network segment to find out if any computer is broadcasting the um NX protocol or the no machine protocol. Right? Um so uh I have one machine on the network that you, that has it and it's my desktop. And all I can have to do is uh double click on um this computer now you want you would you have to have no machine installed on the computer that you want to connect to right um so as i'm saying this is a quick tutorial hopefully i'm gonna do a tutorial with a, just a tad bit more in depth but this is a quick tutorial now first when you double click you will get a screen um as saying something about um authentication and fingerprint just click continue it's the making up a fingerprint a SHA-256 I believe encryption for that connection after you press continue you'll see this page here where it asks you to put in the username and the password of the computer that you want to connect to so in my so um the con so I'm going to put in my password here I hope that password was correct. And if your password and your oh, that wrong. So let's try that again. Oh, uh, forget this password already. So One minute. Why do I forget this password so easily? Ah, that should be it. And press enter or continue, and there you go. Um, right now I'm connected to the computer. It will make a little um sound when you connect. Um, it's giving some additional information here. So if you're meanwhile you're connected to your remote machine or the machine that you're going to connect to, you can um hover in the side here in the top right hand corner and you'll get some options or you can just press control alt zero and such options would come up for you to do various things um for example the microphone or uh, the display size uh, and no machine is a very good software um if one of those remotes uh can continue to press OK. Um, one of those remote uh, softwares where you can actually watch videos over. You can watch a movie probably on a computer that's somewhere else. It's not as laggy as say something like TeamViewer. It's very, you can actually use it for media consumption. Not the best experience um, that can be had, but probably the best experience on a remote software that I've seen anyway. So um yes, yeah, so you reach this 
section here and you can choose if you want the Windows Start uh, menu to come up over your screen, all over both screens or on just the machine that you're using. So they have that feature. I prefer, prefer to have the Start menu popping up inside the window of the computer I'm connected to. Press OK. It's asking you um, to mute the audio. You can uncheck or check it. I prefer to have it muted and all the audio uh, will be directed to the computer you're using. So press OK. Some other information about resolution. It, it's interesting. You can also, I believe you can also change the FPS how much frames per second you're getting out of this thing. This well, this, this software is great. So here am I now connected to this other machine, other machine here where I can digitally play even videos. Right? And the video would come right back out. I'm playing this movie. The audio would come right back out into this um, my computer here. Hopefully it's showing this recording pretty smooth. Really smooth. So there you have it, peeps. Um, no machine. Um, in a um, short clip as I can. Um, I'm probably going over the time I wanted to go over now, but that's it. So if you're just starting up, no machine, you just want to get started, there you go. So hopefully I'm thinking about doing other remote software. Um, comparing them also, let's see how that works out. But no machine is definitely a good free alternative. I'll tell I'll tell you to try it out. It's available for Windows, Mac, Android, Linux, you name it. No machine um, supported. So thank you very much for watching this video, and and. Hopefully in our next video or in a future video we can dive a little more into no machine. So thanks again for watching and please leave a thumbs up or subscribe for more videos like these. Thank you.